Hey guys, today I'm going to be decorating my studio for Christmas and I'm doing this a little bit early because I have a few possible jobs that need a sort of festive feel to them. So I thought, what a shame I have to decorate my room for Christmas early. <laughs> so I actually bought a tree yesterday. Um, I was umming and ahhing between a real and a fake tree because I'm not a fan of fake trees, but I thought, is it better to buy a fake tree even though it's plastic and not have to buy new trees every year, like new fresh trees every year? Or do I do what we usually do and buy fresh living trees? Um, this year I actually picked up one that's in a pot, so I'll be able to repot it and have it next year, hopefully. So that's good, that means I get two years worth at least out of it. And I also picked up some really, really cute decorations from the garden centre yesterday. So I'm gonna share those with you and I'm gonna get decorating. I have a load of other old decorations as well that I'm just about to look out that are under my bed. And then, yes, we can get to transforming the room. I'm wearing a slightly festive jumper today. This is from Mango. Um, I picked this up last year and this little scarf is from Pull and Bear and I really like how it sort of picks up the blues in the jumper and then I've also got blue denim on so I quite like all the little blue hints coming out of this outfit. <laughs> First I have to do a very tricky task of getting things out from under my bed. So this IKEA bed is a very good design and it's got this um, headboard that's got storage space in the sides and then it's also just got this big empty bit below. So now I'm going to braid the cobwebs and try and get all of this Christmassy stuff out. <laughs> I can't reach that sports board. We're going to do. Can you get it for me? <laughs> yeah, just bring that bag out that I can't reach for. Can you do that? So I'm now down in my studio. I'm sorry if it's a little bit echoey in here. Um, there's not too many soft furnishings in this room, but I wanted to show you the really cute things I picked up at the garden centre yesterday to go on the tree or to use as Christmas decorations. So, I'm going to start with my favourite, which is this adorable little angel. I just couldn't leave her in the shop. She was a little bit expensive. She was £28, but I thought you'd buy an angel once to go on the top of your tree and then you're sorted. So many gorgeous little details, and I could make something like this myself, but it would cost so much more to get all these little different trims and everything. So yeah, basically I couldn't leave her. She now needs a name to go on the top of my tree. I love her. She sits really well on top of a tree as well, which is great. So yes, she's my little angel. She can sit there while I show you the rest. And then in keeping with the very cute handmade look, I picked up these deer and oh my goodness, they're just the cutest little things. So they're both in this felted design. The ginger one has antlers and then there's a normal deer. The garden centre I was in was Yarnton Nurseries which is near Kidlington in Oxfordshire um, but I expect you can find them in lots of different garden centres and I'm sure somewhere like Burford Garden Centre would sell this sort of thing. So yeah, I couldn't resist these. I picked up two of the brown and one of the little gingers. I also quite liked this little decoration, it was only £2.50. So I just thought that was really pretty and it adds the tiniest hint of pink to the tree. I then picked up this little box of decorations, which are little paper stars, 3D cardboard paper stars. And I loved how like handmade and crafty they looked. Um, so they were, one, two, three, four, five, six, six for 11.50, which isn't bad. I mean, it comes in a box as well, which is super handy for decorations because then you can just store them like this once you finish with them. In the same brand, I picked up this little felt ball garland um, that was 10 pounds. And I just thought it would look really cute on the tree, like little snowballs. 
And then the last thing I picked up from that brand was a little garland again, but this is just like a stitched paper garland. And I thought it was really sweet, little red spots. And that was £6.85. It's quite an expensive little brand, but I really loved all of their stuff. And I'm very good at keeping my Christmas decorations looking nice for many years. So I'm sure I'll be able to use them for many years. Okay, and then picked up one of these um, like snowberry fake plants. And I thought this might look nice hanging off the side of my fireplace or something like that. Uh, this was 10 99 so quite expensive, but these sort of fake plants are always quite expensive. And then the final thing I picked up, apart from the tree, were a set of lights. I actually got two packs of these, and these are the nice little very stringy, very delicate lights. I've actually tested out one of the packets on the tree already, so I'll show you in a sec. Um, but these ones are a warm light and they are just micro LED twinkle lights. Sadly, they are battery. I kind of wanted a plug-in one, but they didn't seem to have many. And I just think they look really sweet. They're so delicate and they actually come with a load of different settings. So yeah, very happy with these. <laughs> okay, so now I need to actually get on and start the decorating. I have a box of old Christmas decorations that I will open up and use here and there if I need them. And I'm going to put my fake mantle garland up and I think that'll be it. But the first thing I need to find is a little stool to put this tree on to raise it up a bit. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to go on a hunt for a stool around the house to steal. <laughs> Okay, I managed to get the tree into place. I'm gonna probably put some like fake presents around the bottom um, just to sort of help with the shape balance going on here. And yeah, so now I'm going to put the lights on. So the tree is pretty much done and I think the mantelpiece is done. I'm not sure about the white berries but I can just move those around. And now I'm just going to wrap a few empty boxes so that they can sit underneath the tree and look more like an actual used tree. <laughs> and don't worry I will use this paper again to wrap other presents once I've taken it off. So this is a brown paper type wrapping paper from Ikea that I got a few years ago and then I've just got a load of brown paper that I'm going to wrap these boxes in.
finished wrapping the presents and I've just been doing the last few little bits to get the room ready. I've edited the mantle a little bit and I've added my Christmas tree candle and this other candle which is going crazy at the moment. So yeah, I'm very happy with how this has turned out. It's now a few days later and after I decorated the tree I decided to have a look online for fake trees that I might like and I found one from this website called Basm, Basm Hill, I think it was, and they had their early Black Friday sale on so I may have picked up a tree. So yeah, I do usually love getting real trees but this year I wanted to get a fake one just because with my job it is a lot easier to have a tree that you can just get out early and set up for jobs that might have a Christmas theme and it actually looks super cool. It's behind me right now and let me show you a bit in a bit more detail. This does now mean that I'm going to have to take all the decorations off this tree but that shouldn't take too long because it's not very big. Whereas this one is a bit bigger. <laughs> it goes all the way to the ceiling. But I love the style of it. It looks so realistic. It's amazing. So it was more expensive than the usual fake tree, but I got 50% off and like 20% off or 10, 20 pound off um, thing for joining the newsletter or something. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start taking the decorations and lights off this tree and then we can start putting them on this tree. So I've managed to take everything off the other tree and I put the lights on the new tree. I've put this little skirt around the tree. I picked that up in home base and there are actually some really reasonable trees in home base but I didn't like them quite as much as this one. So yeah, I've put one little decoration on already and now I'm going to get on and put the rest on. The little fairy is also at the top. So let's get on and decorate the tree. Again. <laughs> Got all my lovely decorations in here. I think I'm gonna save these paper bits till last because I might put them somewhere else in my room. But look at this cutie I picked up the other day. Oh, just so adorable. And this little squirrel who is also very, very cute. Don't worry, they're not as cute as you. Hmm? <laughs> no, you don't get to eat it. No. obsessed with this little squirrel. You're not going to eat it. You have to be gentle. You have to be very gentle. No biting. No. <laughs> I like this squirrel. You can't eat it, okay? Okay, that's going higher up on the tree. <laughs> So yesterday I put as many decorations on the tree as I could and today I decided to do a little bit of origami to see if it could fill up the tree a little bit. I have this pad of origami paper from uh, Sostrine Greens when I went up to Nottingham. I picked that up and it's got all of these different 
um, prints in it. And so I've been attempting little styles this morning. I'm actually pretty pleased with how they turned out. It was quite a difficult little origami to follow. I really need to get some like sparkly baubles. Um, I think some nice like teardrop ones would be quite nice because it's looking quite sparse, especially around here. So maybe I'll find some today because I'm going into Bista later. But anyway, I'm going to make a few more stars and I'm going to choose the print I want to do. They're all so pretty in here. Oh, I just love them. 